take a look at some terminology that you'll need later on for algebra and pre-algebra, um, but it's best to, to lay a foundation early on. So this column, I'm going to give you the, the word, then I'll give you an example of it, uh, so that way you got an idea of, of what's going to appear like in the problems, and then we'll give you the nice formal definition that'll help it, but mainly it's uh, looking at the vocabulary word and being able to recognize it, and then we'll get some practice questions um, to, to recognize the different types of terms. First off, variable you should be pretty familiar with. If we looked at this example of 4x, x is your variable. Basically, it's a letter uh, that can be replaced by a number. A lot of times it means that we don't know what the number is. So when we look at something and we see a letter, we're not going to call it a letter. We need to make sure we call it a variable. Moving on, um, let's take a look at what we call that number in front of the variable. If there's a number in front of the variable, basically it's sitting right next to it and it's multiplying it, we're going to call it a coefficient. So in this example, the 4 is called the coefficient, and it's just the number that multiplies any variable. If I had 6b right here, we would say 6 is our coefficient because it's multiplying that variable. Um, moving on after that, we need to take a look at something called terms. Terms basically is where you take a look at an expression or an equation, and you see how many different terms are separated by plus or minus signs. Here's a plus sign, here's a minus sign. So here's our first term, our second term, and our third term. That's the reason we're saying there are three terms there. Okay, moving on after that, let's take a look at the constant. Now, a constant is just a term that has no variable. So let's find our terms again. Here's a plus sign, and here's another plus sign. So here is our first term has a variable, so that's not a constant. This is our second term. It's got a variable, so that's not a constant. Here's our third term, and there's no variable with it. It's just a number, and so we would call that the constant. So our constant is the number 4. Not because the 4 is here, no, because that's got a variable. We're calling the constant 4 because this is the number that has no variable. Okay. So it's a term that has no variable. Then we get into some more basic ones. Look, an, an equation basically is a math sentence, but it's got an equal sign in there. Uh, there's going to be some sort of mathematical um, type of operations going on, but it must have an equal sign to make it an equation. If we threw in some of the other odd signs, the inequalities, see these inequalities here, or the not equal to sign, or we could do the approximation sign right there. If we threw any of these in, it would be an inequality. So it's the same thing as an equation, but instead of an equal sign, we pop in a different sign there. And then I believe we've got two more, and that one should be reviewed at this point, a base and the exponent. For a base, um, that's like the large number attached to the exponent, so 6 is the base here, but the exponent's the small little number, and uh, that's just a, a code for saying, well, this one means 6 times 6 times 6, okay? It's the base times itself three times. So, now that we've gone through all of these terms, and it's taken us about three minutes to do so, let's go over and give you some questions and see how you do. First off, um, how many terms do you see up here? Well, I have a plus sign here, and I've got a minus sign there, and I've got a plus sign here. So here's our first term, second term, third term, fourth term. How many terms? Four. Name all the variables. Let's see. Here's an x and y. x shows up again and again. So we'll just say x and y. What exponent do you see? I see this little 2 for the exponent. What's the exponent's base? <clears throat> it's not the 3. This x remember, stands for a number, and the number that's right next to the exponent is the base, so we'll just say the exponent's base is x, and what's the constant? It's the term without a variable. Variable, variable, variable. Oh, there's a term without a variable, so 18 is our constant. Okay, now, um, <clears throat> sometimes you won't see constants in here. Sometimes you won't see exponents. It's it's very fluid, and you just have to stick with the basic definition to get you through the reasoning. So how many terms do we see here? Well, here's a plus sign. Here's a plus sign. We look for any plus or minus signs, and then we just see what's left over, how it's, it's divided up there. I see three different terms. Uh, the variables would be y and m. And what's the constant? It's a term without a variable, and 151 is the only term without a variable. Um, <clears throat> when we look at this one, what is the variable of 20x to the second power? It would be the x. 
What's the coefficient of 2x plus 3? Well, coefficient is the number that's multiplying the variable, or it's sitting right in front of the variable, so it would have to be the 2. I can't say it's 3, because for a coefficient, it's got to have that variable behind it, and there's no variable behind this 3. So what's the constant of 2x plus 3? Well, it's a term. Here's the first term, and here's the second term. It's a term without a variable, so I'd say it's 3. How many terms do you see in 2x plus 3? Well, we looked at it right here. Um, here's a plus sign, so here's the first term. There's the second term, so there are two terms. And what's the constant of 5xy plus 2x plus 3? It's a term that has no variable, and so 3 would be our constant. How many terms do you see in 5xy plus 2x plus 3? Well, first term, second term, third term. Yeah, that's good. See how we use the plus signs to break it up there? What's the coefficient of negative 2m plus 8? See this negative sign in front of it? That means that my coefficient is negative 2, not just 2, but we've got to include that sign. How many terms do you see in negative 2m plus 8? I see 2. And what's the variable of negative 2m plus 8? Well, that's an m. I've got five more questions here. It's multiple choice. I would encourage you to take a look at them, pause them, and then hit play when you're ready to see the answer for each one. Here's question one. Hit play when you're ready. What's the coefficient of 3xy to the second power? Well, that would be a 3, so a is my answer. Here's question two. Hit play when you're ready. I have a plus sign here and a minus sign there, so... I have three terms. My answer would be D. Question three. Name the constant in 6x to the second power plus 3. Here we go. It would be the 3. It's the term without a variable. Question four. Name the coefficient of 4y plus 2. Hit play when you're ready. Uh, it's the number that's multiplying a variable. So this 4 is multiplying the y. It's A, 4. Question 5. How many terms are shown 3x plus 2y minus 1z plus 5? Well, plus sign, minus sign, plus sign. Here we go. One term, two terms, three terms, four. C is the right answer.